Hey guys, Bulldog Tech here. Yet again, Microsoft have released an update and there's thousands of people having issues. Hence this video. So hopefully we can get the latest download installed, which is the KB4535547. Few people's getting the failed install. Some people it's just not loading at all. And for some, it's just stuck in getting ready. Okay, so first thing you should always check is your internet connection. Yeah, I'm accessing the internet. Then make sure you can get on. Search for speed test. Do a quick speed test. Do you me? Fiber broadband at its best. Okay, so as you can see, my net speed is very slow, but it still should be capable of installing and downloading the latest Microsoft update. Second thing you should check is your storage. So if you go to File Explorer, let's bring that across. And make sure this is in blue, your C drive, and it's not in red or it's got zero disk space free. Otherwise, you'd have to go in and tidy some files up, potentially empty your recycle bin at the top left here. Go in there, free it up. Step three, Windows Update Troubleshooter for Windows 10. Or if you have issues on Windows 7 or 8, you can select Windows 7 and 8. So for this one is Windows 10, so I will click on Download Update Troubleshooter for Windows 10. Okay, so once that's downloaded, double click it, or single click depending on the browser you have. This will then load the, the troubleshooter. So for this instance, we are trying to troubleshoot Windows Update, so we will select Windows Update, then select Next. So hopefully it detects our issues and it resolves it for us. If it doesn't, we'll move on to, to step four. Okay, so it's found no issues. Mm, fair enough. Hopefully for you guys, it, it fixes some of your issues for it. Okay guys, in the next step, we will run a few commands into elevator command prompt. To do this, we have to click start type cmd for command prompt right click run as administrator click yes on the prompt okay so if we copy and paste these commands into the command prompt if you right click do copy and if you right click your mouse it should automatically paste in the commands in sequence so what we're doing here is is reinstall on the Windows Update Service and rename the the folder where the uh, the updates are stored. Once this is complete, hopefully you should be able to install the update that having issues with. Okay, so that's nearly done. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's done. I will leave these in the comment section in the description. Then if you go to updates again, check for updates. Rerun the update and hopefully that's it. It's worked. Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope it was informative for you and I hope it has resolved your issue. Let us know in the comment section.